Hey guys, how's it going? It's your boy Peter Liu, Real Wheel Deal. And if you're a Honda S2000 enthusiast, today's your lucky day because my friends over at Mita Motorsports sent me one of their new wheels, the AP2 V3 homage wheel, fully forged 10,000 tons. And now we're gonna do deep dive in it right after the intro, okay? Before we dive into the wheel, just wanted to remind you guys, make sure to hit subscribe, give the video a like. If you guys want to turn your notifications on, I don't make very many videos, so I'll let you guys know when a new one comes out. And more importantly, I want to let you guys know about an offer that Mita has provided me and anybody watching the video. Is that if you're done the video and you're really interested in purchasing a set of Mita wheels, they gave me exclusive coupon code RealWheelDeal10. I have it down below with the link below to purchase them. If you're considering a set, make sure you use that coupon code because 10% off a fully forged set of wheels is really, really big savings. So now we're gonna dive into the wheel. So you're probably a Honda enthusiast who's been watching this video. And what you might have known is recently, Hondas have been appreciating value greatly. So they have S2000s, NSX, Integra, older Civics, starting to enter this collectible status. All their other makes and models, you know, you might even see like a nice Prelude, nice Del Sol or something like that, also appreciating in value. This is forging Honda's line of making sure that they're becoming the next set of collectible cars. So because these cars have been appreciating value, it's separated the enthusiasts into two kind of groups. One group is guys who are still tuning the cars, modifying the cars, seeing the cars racing, driving the cars heavily, and need to replace a lot of parts on it or go into aftermarket solutions. The other group of people, which has slowly emerged due to appreciating prices of these cars lately, they're more in the collector status. So they're trying to keep these cars OEM or OEM plus as much as possible. And they also are trying to make sure that they have parts that are ready for preservation or they're trying to improve their car, but not damage the original parts or have to modify the car in any ways where it can't be reverted back to its original state. So now we have these two parties. Mita is a center stone of this movement and they're doing quite a few things to help with the preservation of these Honda collector vehicles. So you never heard of Mita Motorsports originated in Japan and they've gone by many different names before. Maybe like you might have heard of the NSX shop. Not only do they sell a lot of OEM Honda parts to kind of keep your car lasting and being in this collector status, but they've actually been working with a lot of ex-Honda designers to reproduce some of the parts that are now discontinued by Honda. Some parts are discontinued. They're not only making them exactly as is, they're also doing a vast improvement on a lot of them so that they have better their longevity and it lasts a lot longer on the cars. So Mita has been really, really good and they're kind of the forefront of making sure this is sustained and that cars that we use and that we love are getting the parts that they need for their ongoing future. With this philosophy in mind, this leads to their second venture here, which is Mita Motorsport Wheels. And the Motorsport Wheels is separating into two branches. It's separating into their heritage and their modern branch. So first let me discuss the modern branch. It's something like the new NSX NC1. They've taken that design and they started making them in size and offsets that fit some of the legacy Honda. So we're taking some of the new new Honda stuff and are kind of casting it down in the past to fit on the cars that are older. The second one, which is very important, if you already seen one of my videos with the Mita 7S, is that they're doing something where they're preserving the original OEM styles of the wheel, but improving them in many ways. First thing, they're offering them more modern sizes, which look more flush, more wide, and increasing the contact patch of the wheel. So that's really, really important because if you have an older car, you can see wheel fitment back then for the OEM wasn't that great, but now they're doing the same style wheel with that fitment so it's really improving the look and also your original parts that means you can put them on a shelf or put them in storage and kind of keep them safe second thing is strength improvement so these are now using all forged methods they're made using a 10,000 ton forged blank and they're machined so that's the industry standard another thing they've improved is they started using 6061 aluminum for all their forged wheel offerings except some of them are introducing magnesium like the y spoke one i was talking about but now with 6061 aluminum that's the benchmark that all the high performance wheels known as rays advin those kind of brands they're using 6061 aluminum in all of their wheels so now you can have an oem style wheel using those modern tested materials that are tried and true by the other wheel manufacturing companies. The last important thing is a lot of these legacy wheels are cast, very, very heavy. Now because they're forged using those 10,000 ton blanks, they're reducing the weight by a lot. So we're gonna get this guy on the scale after and you're gonna see how much weight that has reduced. And we reduce unsprung weight, that increases your performance a lot, that improves a lot of your handling characteristics. So that's also doing an OEM plus because the older cars with their technology of those heavier wheels, these new wheels are actually increasing your performance margin versus the car when you originally had bought it. And the last most important feature of this wheel before we do dive is that because Mita Motors Sports is a Japan-based company. They also have JWL certification. So this wheel has JWL stamped on it. So it's certified for JWL, which is a standard that lots of JDM aftermarket wheels are gonna be using to determine their roadworthiness. So one I have here, this is the AP2 V3. So you know, Honda S2000 AP2 version, they had three iterations of wheels, V1, V2, V3, which I'll throw some pictures up here. And the V3 wheel, this one here, is really well known for being 2008 and 2009 Honda S2000 OEM wheel. And that was in a lighter color, that's in kind of 
than the standard silver that you saw in the AP2 V3. And the other thing this wheel is greatly known for is of course being the Honda S2000 CR wheel, so the Club Racer wheel. It's a Club Racer limited run S2000, really, really specked out. They have the wing on it, they have the new front lip on it. It comes in very iconic colors. That car ran also a version of this wheel, but it was in a darker silver. So those wheels are becoming increasingly rare to get, definitely on the aftermarket. So Mita has decided to remake this wheel, but in modern day fitment, manufacturing, and materials. Some other wheels that you might have seen is uh, Mita also did a 7S, that's the original NSX wheel that I did a video of previously. Uh, they're also doing the AP2 V1 in the same format. Uh, the Mita S, which is the NSX Zenardi edition wheel, was also done by them. So they're really, really trying to go after the wheels that have been discontinued, very hard for enthusiasts to get, and they've reissued that shape so you can get the look OEM wheel but in these new sizes and new offsets. So now we're jumping directly into this wheel. So this wheel, the V3 wheel, is not only made for S2000 size, they made it in many different sizes. So this wheel is offering a 17 and 18 inch right now. And the widths go all the way from a seven and a half all the way up to a monstrous 11 inches wide. It's also available in quite a few different offsets. Uh, it's available in a 40, 45, 53, or a 63, which is what this one is. Also the hub board, they have it standard for Honda, either 64.1 or 70.1. If you're an S2000 guy, you know that Honda runs a staggered hub board front and back. For this set, I chose to do 70.1 for all four wheels. So I had to do a swap a hub ring if I'm doing front to back. So the wheels are uniform in case, you know, I'm running track pretty often. So I might full swap tires front to back. And currently for PCD wise, it's only available in a 5x114.3. So it's got the later Hondas, the S2000, Integra, RSX. The one I have here is a 17 by nine plus 63. Now, when I went with this set, I chose to have it in this configuration because the S2000 is really picky. If you wanted a really specific set of wheels to be square, you would actually do a 17 by 9 plus 63, which is the spec I chose for this one. And plus 63 allows you to have a square setup, but you don't have to roll any of the fenders. You don't have to do any of the tab relocations on that car. So that allows you to kind of preserve the, the body work of the S2000. I'll have to modify it to fit this wheel while getting the benefits of increased contact patch front and back, and also improving the flushness front and back and having it square so you can swap tires front and back. As they do it in many different colors. So four colors they have for this wheel, they have uh, Tahi Silver, which is a really bright silver. Some people call it BMW. W silver. They have Kaiser Silver, which is the one I have here. And Kaiser Silver, as you can see, most reflects the Honda S2000 CR wheel, which is why I went with that color. They also have a satin bronze, because you know a lot of Honda guys love bronze. And lastly, a very important color, they also chose to do this in a championship white. So championship white, iconic Honda body color, and also seen on some iconic Honda wheels, such as the NSX R has the championship white wheels. So those four colors and a mix with all those sizes, all the different offsets, that gives you a lot of selection for a lot of the Honda range. If you want to like I kind of use this wheel on something that's not an S2000, that's available for Mita as well. So this is something new the OEM ones didn't do is this tire knurling here, allows the tire to contact the rim very, very strongly. If you also look at the design of the wheel, it has a very, very strong flange here, very, very strong flange inside. And all along this tire knurling, it really makes that contact with the tire and the rim really, really strong. So it's not slipping. And when you're going through the corners and doing a lot of high Gs, the tire is communicating to the wheel and the wheel is going up through the suspension to the driver's hands in the steering wheel and it's giving them really, really appropriate feedback. So this is probably a bare minimum for anything that's high performance today. So that's a really nice change that they've also done to this wheel. So now we got the little details all the way. I'm just going to do a deep dive on the wheel. And when you look here, first thing I'm going to show you, it's just actually, it's almost like a AP2 V3 wheel review. As of course, you got your classic five spokes. What I like about this is instead of just having them normal beefy OEM style spokes, what Honda chose to do and Mita has also done as well on top is that this spoke has a little triangle facet here. Here and down here becomes a split, which leads to lug nut. So five spokes with the five lugs look totally symmetric and the thing I also like about the facet of this wheel is when you have the face in all these certain angles you can definitely see the Kaiser Silver showing through really nicely so some areas it looks lighter and some areas look darker gives the wheel a lot of good depth a lot of dimension it has a Mita Motorsport center cap which comes with the wheel and also comes with valve stems but what this wheel is made special for is that it can also fit the OEM Honda center cap so if you can locate the Honda OEM center cap you put it back in here it's going to fit perfectly so you get that actual OEM plus fitment nothing but the front is here I mentioned earlier the JWL certification that's engraved in here and this is one that is really going to show and pop so if you can't really tell the wheels different from the OEM wheel we see this word here it says forge you know that that's not the OEM wheel that this is a Mita wheel and of course we have our valve stem hole down here and I think I want to turn your attention to which I kind of been noticing on a lot of these like Honda S2000 centric wheels this lip here is not 
not totally flat, but it's not 90 degrees either. It's kind of got a nice little small degree slope. Kind of makes it this design work when you put a tire up against it, it evenly flows with it. Gives the wheel an impression that looks bigger. And this kind of style on the edge here, I know there's a lot of S2000 specific wheels, one of which I reviewed recently, like the ASM Clearways BBS. They also chose to do it at this angle as well. So I don't know if it's an S2000 thing. Now I'm turning my attention to the side. You can see it's really, really nice. We have the big flanges. We have the tire knurling. But one thing I also like is inside of here, it's totally finished as well. They totally chose to paint it and gloss it over. And it's going to stop over time any kind of bead corrosion or if there's moisture getting in there, it's not going to start damaging the wheel. So this wheel appears like it's built for longevity. Now we're going to go to the back. No fuss or anything. But the back here, you can see they've machined off. No paint, no nothing. They machined all the way down so it gets direct contact with the hub. They've also machined these holes out as much as possible. Two things, they machined out a lot for weight savings. But second thing, they also machined it so that if you want to fit a spacer in the future and you had your OEM sticking through past the bolt-on spacers, there's good clearance here. So if you've got a super wide one like the one I have here, 17 by 9, or you do a 17 by 10 even, if you have kind of fender flares down the road or you get uh, wider fenders on your S2000, then if you want to add a spacer, you know that your wheel, you don't have to buy another one because that's a pocket right for those spacer lug bolts and of course the back inside the barrel beautifully finished so if you're going to be cleaning these wheels often no problem it's going to slick right off the one thing i really like about Mita that they do here most importantly instead of a sticker they do an engraving so this engraving is not going to disappear over time it's not going to fly off on the track it's not going to get power washed off it has their Mita logo here Mita llc and another thing is they stamped the spec right on here so this is a 17 by 9 plus 63 70.1 hub bore 5 by 114.3 with a max load rating 690 kilograms industry standard so of course we're on my channel next thing we have to do we have to do the big way off which will really show you the power of the Mita motorsport wheel and the first thing we do is we're going to weigh off uh, the front wheel which is the smaller wheel 17 by 7 OEM AP2 V2 wheel let's go down here so that's 20 pounds even 17 by 7 now we're going to weigh off the 17 by eight and a half AP2 V2 OEM wheel, 21.8 pounds. So another 1.8 pounds for being one and a half inches wider. And now we're going half a pound wider. We're going with the Mita AP2 V3, 17 by nine plus 63 wheel. And I can already tell you it, it's way lighter. 16.8 pounds that's crazy light so this wheel is almost five pounds lighter being half an inch wider that's crazy weight savings so this is remarkably light so huge amount of weight savings so we're talking about almost a quarter of the weight shaved off all right so that concludes my in-depth review of the Mita ap2 v3 wheel this is my personal set that I spec'd out, 17 by nine plus 63 with a hub board 70.1. Uh, I really wanted like an OEM plus wheel. CR has always been one of my favorite S2000s. So with this CR look wheel, I definitely had to get that in the Kaiser silver color. So if you guys enjoyed that, comment below, hit subscribe, let me know what you think about it. And you know what, uh, Mita's Motorsports, really good guys out there. So big thank you guys for sending me this set of wheels and specking them out for me. They're out there trying to preserve the Honda game, trying to make sure and that the legacy cars have all the parts they need. And these cars can be road worthy for a really long time so with that philosophy i really like what Mita is doing so hopefully you guys can check them out and if you guys have any questions you can message them and they're really really communicative they let me know every detail about the wheel and throughout the manufacturing when i was asking them anything about it they're really really upfront with me on everything that was going on so really happy to have these in my possession and i'll catch you guys next time